Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at another box from the folks over at Super Geek Box. This is Super Geek Box for January 2017. I believe this is 2017, or at least I believe this is the January box. Ring in the new year with Super Geek Box by clicking the link down below and subscribing to this little blue box of wonder. Yes, I know I said little, but don't let the size fool you. You'd be surprised the amount of stuff you can actually get inside these boxes. Spin around the back of the package. Uh, you can follow Super Geek Box over at Instagram at the Super Geek Box, www.twitter.com forward slash the Super Geek Box on Twitter, of course, and on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Super Geek Box. Also, you can follow them on hashtag Super Geek Box, and it's, in, it's assembled in sunny California with love and care. Let's go ahead and reach off camera. Let's see what we got for a way of knives. Okay, yes, okay, okay, there we go. Oh, no, I shouldn't use that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. You'd swear that spot actually had like a whole arsenal of different weapons over here like Batman. I think we're actually going to use uh, Old Red for this one. You want to know a little secret? Come here for a second. Come here for a second. I only had one knife. I only, I only had Old Red over there. I was just I was playing it up. Playing it up. Okay, let's open up the Super Geek box for, uh, for January and find out what we got inside. All right, so the first thing that we get is a is a vibrant green t-shirt, which I can only imagine would be something Legend of Zelda or Link related. And it is. Look at that beautiful looking t-shirt. You, you seldom get an emerald green shirt like this. And then the icing on the cake, of course, is the shield, sword, and all the other trimmings, the bells and whistles from Legend of Zelda. Does this, the shirt fit? Yes, it does. Okay, good. That's a bright green shirt. It happens so very, very, uh, very limited where you actually get yourself a bright colored shirt. Nothing to the subscription boxes as a whole. You know, I love the black shirts. I love the gray shirts. I love the white shirts. But when you get the vibrant colors like the blues, the greens, the reds, sometimes yellows, I'm, I'm all for that. So that's a nice bright colored shirt. Definitely going to be wearing that. Not right now, because that would involve me changing behind camera. Nobody needs, needs to be aware of that. Definitely going to put that on, though, after this review. Let's see what else we have in here. We have the Marvel Avengers Assemble Squareheads plush. Back there, it will uh, come in either Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, or Spider-Man. Okay, everybody think to yourself, let's see if we can make this happen. I will... Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, Spider-Man would be good. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. Create reality, create the universe, ask the universe. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Project, project, project. Uh, by the way, this comes to us from the folks over at Good Stuff. Good Stuff, www.goodstuff.com. I would just go over there just because it's called Good Stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Spot, how do you do that? Are you a magician? No, no, I'm not. We got ourselves a Spider-Man. This is from Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, plush toy, good stuff, a division of Bridge Direct Inc. Right now, somebody has fallen out of their seat. They're like, how did he do that? No, seriously, like, how did he do that? Of course, he, he could have just filmed this video before. No, I didn't. Legitimately, I was just hoping it was going to be a Spider-Man. But in the back of my mind, I felt like it was going to be Captain America. But... We got ourselves a Spider-Man. Looking very cool, I might add. I love the little blocky square body that he's got. Little arms, little legs, big head. Very, very nice. I'll put that. I'll put him right over there. Well, let's see what else we have in here. We've got a... Let's see here. I'm going to open this up because it's kind of blocking some of the stuff that's going on behind it. Well, it's uh, it's Kingdom. It's a Kingdom. Oh, it's a Kingdom key. Oh, that's why I couldn't understand what it was. The key goes in here. I was looking at it solely like that, and I thought it was like an some sort of Autobot or Transformer logo. But sh uh, so stupid, silly, silly goose spot. You're so silly. But yeah, your key would go in the bottom there, and you've got yourself an epic, I might add, epic castle key. 
Every time I would go to my door, I think, and use this key, I would feel really important. And I'm totally going to do that too. And this comes to us from, again, uh, Super Geek Box exclusive. Does it make, does it say who it makes? It just says Nerd Create. I'm totally going to make use of that though. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. We've got some Dragon Ball cards, trading collection. Five cards per pack. Coming to us from Artbox and Filmation Productions Limited. Getting trading cards inside a subscription box is always a cool thing. I don't think of it at all as filler because I like I love opening up trading cards. Um, even though I'm not familiar too much with Dragon Ball Z because I don't really watch a lot of Dragon Ball Z. As we've got, is it defeat or victory that waits in the dark? Super gloss cards, I also might add. And there's the back of the card. Unfortunately, not in a language that I would be able to read or, or pronounce or decipher. We've got, uh, is it defeat or victory that awaits in the dark? Oh, I guess they all have the same read up on the bottom. Yes, th that is correct. Vegeta? Somebody's going to say no. That's okay. Uh, another one there. And another one. You can see how glossy it is by the fact that my light... No, there's not a UFO in the room. My little light reflection reflecting off the gloss surface. And lastly... Put those to the side. I keep looking at this, and I wasn't sure what this was. This is... Um, it is a soldier necklace. Let's go in further to examine this. Oh, look at that. Uh, Final Fantasy, I'm thinking. Final Fantasy. The broad. I don't know what the actual term for the sword is. I just say broad sword. It's not the broad sword, though. Uh, this also comes to us from Nerd, uh, Nerd Create Soldier Honor Legacy Necklace. It, uh, it's not recommended for 0 to 3. It, it's not sharp, at least, but it's it feels like it is metal. I don't know if this is an indication to you that it's metal by me doing this. Probably not. No? Okay. Nice little necklace. And then finally... Oh, we got our card. Okay. Card will kind of explain some of the stuff that it was a little iffy on. Use hashtag su uh, SuperGeekBox... Uh, on your pictures with the new shirt or gear. Share it on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and we may pick you for our next feature. Sweepstake winner announced every month. There are some other winners there. 2016 Rogue. So this is 2017's uh, January box. Valor is the name of the box. Valor. It's Valor. All right, let's flip it around and see what we got. Oh, there's all the different characters. Actually, the Hulk was pretty cool. Actually, you know what? All of these are pretty cool. The Hulk... I like the look of the Hulk, and I kind of like that Captain America has a little pouty face to him. You get the one of four Avengers and Spider-Man square heads plush. With great power comes great responsibilities. With awesome collectability comes awesome unboxing. Then we had two, the Nerd Create SGB, SGB exclusive soldier honor necklace. The burden of courage and justice passed down from generations of sacrifice and heroism. Three was the Nerd Create SGB exclusive Kingdom Key Cover, the ultimate key holder that unlocked the door to light and conquer darkness. Four was the Art Box Dragon Ball Z trading cards. Whether you're a fan of the new blue-haired installment of Goku and the gang, or if you are a traditional Dragon Ball Z fan, this is nostalgic in a pa nostalgia in a pack, because come on! Who didn't collect DBZ cards when we were younger? And finally, five was the Super Geek Box exclusive, the legendary emblem of Valor uh, t-shirt. Wear it loud, wear it proud, only through adversary, adversaries, adversities, adversities, eh, adversities, and struggles do we grow. Only in the face of danger can we cur uh, cur courage, can courage shine. Oof. Because some things are just worth fighting for. P.S. Wash shirt inside out in order to help preserve the golden shine, which is always what I do. I was, I by now I have some experience handling shirts. I have have like five hundred of them. Inside out, that's the way to go. Inside out, don't put them in the dryer because they'll shrink. Inside out, wash them, hang them on a rack. That's that's additional. I'm not even charging for that. 
that's additional advice I can give for handling laundry. Didn't think you were even gonna get laundry advice on this channel? There you go, that's for you. That's for you, naysayer of, he'll never give us laundry advice. Boom, boom, right there. Boom, that's for you. All right, boom. Today's collectible spot, lots of stuff was going on. I was projecting to the universe. The universe was projecting to the box. We got ourselves Spider-Man. I totally didn't cheat, that's true, that's a true story. Got a really cool t-shirt. We also opened up the box of Valor, if I was hopefully worthy enough to do so, from the folks over at Super Geek Box. Like what you saw, wanna get this subscribe, this little block, this little blue box, which I did tell you, despite its size, it will impress you with the amount of things that we got inside. And look at all the stuff we got. And we also got laundry advice as well. I threw that in. Didn't come from Super Geek Box, tacking it onto this video anyways. Boom, Rico is your uncle. Today though, we're having a look at January 2017 entitled Valor. Thanks for watching as you always do guys. Certainly stay tuned. Spot's got more videos heading your way as well. I'm gonna go put it on this t-shirt. I'm gonna go project the universe to something else. I'm gonna project it maybe to the fridge because I want a roast beef sandwich. I know there's no roast beef in the fridge. We'll see how powerful this is. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.